There are two kinds of video game purchases I love to make. These $5 games you find at conventions, or these gigantic lots. <laughs> well, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, huge retro gaming fan, and uh, my buddy Josh just kind of had a list. He's just like, hey, you know what? We got, uh, let me put this down. Hold on. What am I trying to do here? And myself and a few of my friends are all in this little group. And, you know, he was just like, well, get this kind of fell on some times and, you know, could use the cash. And he has his games. And, you know, he's just like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm down to, you know, sell some of these games here. And a couple of people picked up a couple of games. And I was like, you know what? I see this list. I see this spreadsheet. I don't know what the games go for. I don't know how much they are. But if you need cash, I'll just, I'll give you a thousand bucks for all of them. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. He accepted. He thought it was more than they're worth. But I'm also happy to help him out with his bills or whatever. So I bought $1,000 worth of video games in kind of a blind sale. I saw the list. I saw that there was a list of games. But I didn't go through each little individual game, look it up on price charting and all that. So I did the opposite. I purchased them all for $1,000. And now I'm going to do the research to find out if it was a good enough deal at all. Now, I'm happy to help out. I don't mind. But let's go through all of the games. And in full disclosure, I'm probably going to keep a couple of them. But most of them, I'm probably going to do a Whatnot stream. So make sure you're following me on Whatnot. If you're new to Whatnot, use my link and you'll be able to take some money off the first time you buy something. If you see any of the games here using my link and setting up for Whatnot for the first time, when you see my sale, I'll do a Whatnot sale for some of these games well, periodically you know, throughout the weeks to come. But make sure you sign up using my link because I want to save you some cash. Now, he, again, he sent this over in two boxes, two big boxes full, and then inside are individual boxes. It'll be fun to stream these on Twitch too. Whenever I get games like at convention and stuff, I'll stream me cleaning them and testing them. Make sure they work. I want to say that they work personally before I let him go. He packed this very well, so thank you. And I also did let him know that I'm going to do a video on this, so... First thing we have is Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Yeah, okay. Cracks me up seeing these bags. See, I live in Washington State where these bags are illegal. <laughs> I shouldn't say they're illegal. Uh, they don't use these bags anymore at grocery stores. We have to pay eight cents per bag, but the eight cent bags are that are purchased are a much standard quality than these here. Sometimes it's like a random bag with ready to rumble. Okay. You ready? Got Tetris, Miss Pac-Man, another Tetris, my college nickname, Mr. I'm just kidding. Here's Mr. Nuts, some Yu-Gi-Oh game, Godzilla the series, I forgot that was even a thing. Good old Pac-Man, Harry Potter, and that sums it up for the uh, Game Boy games. Uh, Super Nintendo, very cool. Bunch of sports games, I mean, like, NBA Jam's pretty cool, but sports games. Got a Super WrestleMania from Schnucks, it's like a Midwest grocery store chain, I think. I know they have one in St. Louis. Batman Returns, here's the beat em up. And we got Batman Forever with the $2.99 sticker. That sounds about right. I mean, half the fun is just seeing what it is. What's it gonna be? Maybe a NES this time? And now again, there's a giant other box too. And I think he mostly had NES. So the other box might just be NES. I guess we're gonna find out. But still a long way to go if I'm gonna match my $1,000 back, right? Oh, some box games. Well, I'm cool with that. Uh, again, more individually wrapped games here. Oh no, more Game Boy, uh, more Game Boy games. I gotta put these all together. So new to the Game Boy list are, that was a good one, Kirby's Dream Land, Metroid 2, and there's a sticker right over it. Oh, I see. Lion King. Okay, how about some boxed NES games? Let's add these to the list. Got Home Alone for NES. I'll just add the box games. So this one's Genesis. MiG-29, a Tengen cart, a boxed Deadly Towers. I, I might actually keep this. Just wanted to check, you know. Demon Sword, this is the uh, sequel to Legend of Kage, or Legend of Cage, as I called it growing up. And this is, well, this is a box for T2, uh, but it's just the box. Inside is double dribble. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll keep the box until I find the cart at a convention or something, and then I'll make it CIB, and then I can trade it off or whatever. Plenty of conventions coming up, you know. Got Uniracers, Chess Master. Oop, back up. <laughs> Krusty's Fun House. I like this game. Top Gear, classic. Turn and Burn, No Fly Zone, kind of their answer to Top Gun. Anything worth talking about? Well, maybe, yeah. Super Solitaire. I didn't even know this was a game. Copy of Super Star Wars. Got a copy of Baby's Kids, which goes for a few bucks if you haven't looked it up recently. Not a lot, a lot, but you know, enough. And Battle Clash, one of those games that uses the light scope. The Super Scope 6. So Final Fight, classic. Super Battle Tank. Caesar's Palace. A couple other you know, dollar sports games. And that does it for the smaller box. Now we, what we have left is the giant box. Well, it's a good thing he's a uh, Video Games Monthly subscriber because all of the rest of that big box, it was just full of a bunch of these Video Games Monthly subscriber boxes. <laughs> so that works. Let us see what's in all of these. This is crazy. I think all the, I have a good, I have a good feeling that all of value is going to be in these NES games. Even if they're all commons, what a fun pickup thing. Like I said, that's the fun thing. It's like, I love finding $5 NES games, and then I love it when somebody just, which has happened a few times recently. Someone's like, hey, I found a bunch of, uh, found a couple of boxes of NES games. You want to buy them for, like, just, you know, buy them all at once? I'm like, yeah, not always, but I'm always down to hear you out, so. Always something to make my Twitch screams last 
streams make my Twitch streams last longer. Oh, it's just a variety. Okay, well, let's see what we got. And again, we'll just kind of count them up as we go. Maybe box by box, you know? Tetris 2, Wheel of Fortune and PGA Golf. Love this game. Goof Troop, one of my favorites. Got the Lion King on Super Nintendo. This is the version of Lion King I played the most. I know I just kind of gloss over most sports games, but Ken Griffey Jr., I mean, you know, Seattle guy, so I love that. And then we also have a few 64 games. Namco Museum, got the F1 game, and then uh, Star Wars Pod Racer. And then I'm also going to include the uh, Ready to Rumble boxing that was just kind of loosely hanging out. I'm gonna add those up. Me, I have to say myself in there because <laughs> I'm, I'm doing all the editing. <laughs> I'm a team of one. I do all the editing, I do all the filming, I do all the dropping apparently. There was also this box in there too. It wasn't just the video games monthly boxes. So we'll do this one now. Oh, how neat. What a, what a fun thing to see. Just a box of neat Nintendo 64. This will be a fun box to go through. We have all these bags down here now. So I have Tetrisphere. Oh, that's facing me. Uh, there we go. <laughs> was that Knockout something? The Knockout Kings 2000. Never mind the triple play. Buck Bumble, what? Buck Bumble. A nostalgic favorite for many. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Uh, we have uh, Blast Core. I can tell just by looking at that logo. And then we have uh, Blitz, I love it. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Lego Racers, 1080, another copy of Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Dark Rift, and Wave Race 60, come on, Wave Race 64. Extreme G, I'm actually kind of a fan of this game here. We got Rugrats, also got Rogue Squadron, this is a great game. The most generic 64 label art of all time, Bass Hunter 64, but we also got uh, the great one here in Perfect Dark. Whoever owned this game was left-handed, because you can see the fade of the label there, so when they were, when they were picking the game out, of the console. They would grab the game by the whole cart and pick it up. Unless they were holding the game with the right hand and then picking it up out of their left hand. I don't know. But see, I'll have little things like that. Very nice 64 lot. And here we have uh, just some more random games here. A lot of 64 here. I thought we were going to see more NES, but maybe the NES is still coming. I know there's NES games coming. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Blitz 2000, Rush 2, there's another Pod Racer, Scooby Doo, Ultraman. I actually like this one. And then uh, Jurassic Park, which used to go for $4.99. Maybe it still does. I don't know. Might be a ten dollar game by now. Who knows? Super Battleship, Power Rangers. Ah, oh, Gradius Three. Great game here. Gradius Three from Game Time Inc. Okay, that's it for that box. One, two, three, four, eight. So we have nine more of these boxes to go. I mean, I don't know the math yet because I'm going to do all the math later. But here comes the NES games, or at least these ones anyway. Oh, starting off with a great one too. Yeah, X Men. Sorry, it's not a really great one. Um, <laughs> we also have uh, the Gold uh, Gold Olympics Gold Match Championship. What are they called here? Gold Medal Challenge, something like that. Yeah, Gold Medal Challenge from Capcom. And then we also have uh, Super Jeopardy. Uh, X-Men was $9.99 at Ripley's. No, Replays, Replays. Okay. Uh, one of these is an RPG. You can tell by that gold sticker on the back with the battery. Road Blasters, cool. Skater Die, cool. Ultima, very cool. This is Ultima Standard, Ultima Exodus. It's not Quest of the Avatar or anything like that, but that's all right. Or what's that weird one? The Times of your, I don't know. Never mind that one. Okay, you know, not really over the, over the top, but I mean, some games, you know, like Goof Troop, like Gradius 3, I mean, great games to have in any collection. This T2 should be with the T2 box, so I don't even have to look for it, I already got one. That's odd, and I think he, he may have mentioned that, where he's like, hey, um, you know, I think it's in there somewhere. Uh, you know, Duck Hunt, uh, Wheel of Fortune, A Boy and His Blob, we got The Immortal, we have uh, Defender 2. All right, so it's kind of fun to go through these boxes anyway. All right, here comes, well, you know, Mario Duck Hunt, Mario Duck Hunt. We also have a uh, Top Gun and Gauntlet. This is the uh, NES cart version of Gauntlet. There is a Tingen cart as well. A few more Super Nintendo games with Paperboy 2, uh, NFL, no, that's the uh, NHL Stanley Cup, and then uh, Spider Man and the X Men. You talk about a disappointment. This game's a, dis a greatest soundtrack. One of the best soundtracks on any Super Nintendo game out there. That's where that, that's where that ends. <sighs> Some great ones with Ice Hockey, Tiger Heli. The Adams Family, a little bit more uncommon, but not by too much. Uh, Gauntlet 2, to match that Gauntlet 1 that we just saw a second ago. Gonna go through these games here. Got a, oh, here we go. Okay, we got F-Zero. F-Zero's great. And then we have the uh, Super Play Action Football, and then WrestleMania, the arcade game. Decent. WrestleMania arcade games with, like, Activision Midway was like, well, you know, people are loving Mortal Kombat, so let's do, like, a, you know, motion capture wrestling game. Not wrong to think that. Okay, another variety box here. Super Nintendo in 64, it looks like, but we'll see what we got here. NBA Tournament Edition. There's also uh, Super Off-Road. There's also Super Tech Mobile, along with Mech Warrior, Pac-Man 2, Barbie, and more 64. This is a, this is a great 64 lot. Uh, Extreme G2. Extreme G2. It's a game I didn't have, actually. Not that I need all the games. Top Gear Rally, and then the uh, the Wildlife -E Country Club. And the good news is I can keep these video games monthly boxes and use those for shipping. What I might do for my WhatNot stream is just like, here's all the 64, and then here's all the Super Nintendo, and all the NES. More NES stuff, my favorite. Getting decent titles here, Demon Sword. Uh, Simon's Quest. This is Castlevania 2. I love this one. A lot of people 
kind of gloss over it, but I love it. Uh, we have a classic in Dragon Warrior. Nice. And then we also have Fester's Quest. I'm a huge fan of Fester's Quest. Oh, I knew we were going to see it eventually. Silent Service. Can't go wrong. Where's my anticipation? I, I, we have three more boxes left. I'll be shocked if we don't see an anticipation. Uh, along with that, we also have Jeremite. And then we have Pinball. And does Jeremite have the converter? It feels a little heavy. You can tell if you look right inside. And I can't quite tell because I can't quite look. Uh, the pins are right in the middle. It's a little dusty of a game. I'm going to have to take this through to, uh, with a one-up card or something like that. But pins right down the middle. Does not have the uh, converter. If the pins are on the side, there is a one of those Famicom converters inside. That's always kind of fun when you see those. In fact, I used a Jaromite Famicom converter as my NES converter for a long time. I would just I just pulled that out and put that in my thing, and then kind of shaved the sides so NES games could fit right on top, or Famicom games could fit right on top of that into my top loader. Another hefty box. This is probably got to be more NES games. E it's packed nice and tight. It's more NES games. Oh, I see a fun one right on top here, too. Short Order Explode, a Power Pad Dual Pack. Two games in one. Operation Wolf, another copy of Double Dribble, and a copy of Monopoly. There you go. $6.99 from Replays. Okay. Got Round Ball, Super uh, Off-Road, another Fester Quest, and Karate Kid. And again, this is a decent, kind of chill lot here. Maybe I'll open up my own $5.00 game store. I mean, if there's 200 games here total and I sold them all for $5 each, that's a thousand bucks right there. Get my money back. Super Nintendo and 64 in this box. Yeah, a lot of 64 in here. That's not bad. PGA Tournament Golf. There's a Monopoly. What else we got here? We have uh, Buster Busts Loose for the Super Nintendo. That's kind of a fun one. We have Draken. We have Aladdin. And we have uh, George Foreman's Knockout Boxing or George Foreman's KO Boxing, I suppose you could call it. Another copy of Perfect Dark. You can never have enough copies of Perfect Dark, I suppose. And then we also have, oh God, no, uh, not the Ken Griffey. I'll know I'm down for more Ken Griffey. Uh, we have the uh, Powerpuff Girls Chemical Extraction. I mean, probably in the top five of worst Nintendo 64 games of all time. It could be good because it could play like a Power Stone, but it doesn't. It plays like a Power Kidney Stone. Super Play Action Football. Natsume Championship Wrestling. Natsume Championship Wrestling. This is a great game. Uh, this game is uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling. No. Yeah, it's all Japan Pro Wrestling in Japan. Yeah, that pinball game. Wayne's World, not great, but better than the NES version. Although I wish the NES version was in here. It's worth a lot more money. Uh, Olympic Summer Games, Hunt for Red October, Automobile Lamborghini. We have uh, Rainbow Six here, which is kind of cool. And Rugrats in Paris, the movie, the game. Uh, it's a, on a black card. It should be an orange card to match the VHS one. Well, that's that. And according to price charting, it's that. And I paid a thousand bucks. Just a fun experience, a fun experiment to do something like that with. And, you know, it's a, it's a way for me to uh, do some more whatnot streams. So make sure you're following me there. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be cleaning these carts and testing them on my Twitch channel as well. Besides, look at all this stuff I have left.